Greg Gruzetsky, but well, we're not going to tell you who won between Mantia and Karai. An interesting serving returning stance, Pearlene, almost splay footed, duck footed there at the back of the court. 40, 30. Fifteenth unforced error for Chang in this set alone, 22 in total. Very uncharacteristic of the American. Advantage, well, it's not a tactic that would normally work so well against Chang coming in off a nothing ball. Really, a bluff brings up a set point for Pialine. Actually, get out the record books to see the last time Michael Chang lost a set six love. Well, I stand corrected. I thought his uh, tactic to turn this match around would be to become more aggressive, be the playmaker. He's in fact done the total opposite. He's taken a lot of the pace off the ball and been very selective when he does go for it. Yeah, he takes that second set, six love, and that was a horrible set for Michael Chang. Missing all over the shot. So, Pierlin will open up this third set, one set all. In his previous match against Leander Pay, Cedric Pialine, that was involved in a wildly seesawing scoreline. Looks like today might be similar. Wait, please. Sir, take a seat. Thank you. does close in well on that high backhand volley. It's important to run right through that ball, never wait for it, never wait for it to come to you.
That's better from Chang. Deuce. And not such uh, a well-placed serve from Pierlin right in the hitting zone for Michael Chang. Feeling just questioning Norm Christ in the chair. But no overall coming. And Chang has a chance to win his first game in six attempts. Perfect way for Michael Chang to open up this third set with a break. One set all. Pierlene's play since the first set is he hasn't attacked the wings whatsoever of Chang. He really has just played down the centre of the court. And to a point, it's almost frustrating Chang. He likes the court to be opened up a little bit. I really get the feeling that the wind is starting to play havoc with both players' confidence to a degree. Wind a lot more swirly on court than it appears. about to say that Michael Chang's starting to find his consistency again and then pulls one wide. Yeah, it really looks as though he doesn't like to create his own angles. It's something we've seen Agassi do so well over his last couple of matches. Chang, when the ball comes down the centre of the court, not as comfortable.
Deuce. Yeah, the tactic I think that David Wheaton used to uh, do very well against Michael Chang is, is play it down the middle and approach down the middle and make Chang create his angles. Advantage check. Well, that's the shot. Pialine content to rally down the centre of the court and out of the blue, really exploding on that backhand return. Chang pretty much caught by surprise. Well, that's been the side that he has made his unforced errors off. And you think maybe Chang would start to try and isolate that forehand a little bit, get the ball up high on Pialine, see if he can draw a couple more unforced errors and maybe break the shot down as the match continues. Lots of mini adjustments going on in this rally, purely because the wind was playing havoc with the ball. It's one thing, tennis balls are very light, and when it is windy, they really do. They're very much affected. Fifteenth unforced error for Chang in this set alone, 22 in total. Very uncharacteristic. Fred Gruzetsky. Well, we're not going to tell you who won between Mantia and Karai.
got an interesting serving returning stance, Pearlene, almost splay footed, duck footed there at the back of the court. 40, 30. American. Oh. Advantage, heel lead. 